Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's finally here, October, my favorite month of the whole damn year. So, <laughs> um, and it's also your birthday season. So happy birthday. I just want to let you know that if you, obviously you're born in October, but if you and a Libra, Libras and Scorpios, whoever's born in October gets their readings um, for $45. Any reading that they want, there's no time frame. It's however long it takes for the whole month of October. So go ahead and get your readings in while this deal lasts, okay? And also, Scorpio, I just want to let you know that I already filmed your video. I had filmed it, you know, the day before. It was uh, September 30th. And there was no interference whatsoever. Everything was going smoothly. It was fine. And then when I had it uploading on my computer, um, I went through it. I added my, you know, my little bats, my special effects that I did. And I went to the store and I came back. And when it was done, there was like a, like a pink interference. It was like very staticky. You couldn't even see the video. And it was just like half of it that there was like that. And I'm like, wait a minute. I checked the video before I left. There was nothing wrong with it. So I'm telling you, you and, and, and Libra, your guys' videos has been getting a lot of supernatural energies around it. And there's something that does not want, that it does not want me to film your video. I don't know why. So let's just hope and pray that everything goes smooth with your video this time. So... All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse this deck. I am going to be using the Santa Muerte Tarot along with other um, Halloween Oracle cards and spooky cards as we go along. I will name them, okay? So, Spear, what are the messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of October, please? In general, messages for Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect? What's coming in? All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. It did want to come out reverse, so I definitely feel like mm, probably the first half of October, money might be a little on your mind, but I feel like it's going to start to pick up, okay? It's going to start to pick up. Whatever money issues that you were stressing about, it's going to diminish, all right? So also, if you have been looking for a job, I definitely see that coming in the second half of October. I really don't like to give dates or anything like that. I just I just say what I feel and the energies that I pick up and the intuitive insights that I get. Okay, for some of you it could be different, okay? Cuz not everybody's going to resonate. Always take what does and don't try to force the situation to fit, okay? And try not to be too fixated on the signs that come out. If it resonates, it resonates. I, sometimes I get people, they're like, oh my God, it was so spot on until you mentioned an air sign and it killed it for me. And I'm like, well, that really has nothing to do with it because sometimes when I point out so uh, signs, it's just a, an energy that I'm picking up, but they could also be embodying the energy of that sign as well, okay? So we also have here the Eight of Swords. Yes, something is on your mind. We have the Eight and the Nine of Pentacles, or the Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. So there, like I said, there is an interference here. Energies coming in, energies colliding, energies interfering with you. Mentally, there could be a mental disturbance. Something is on your mind, Scorpio. Either you're bothered by... Things that are happening in your life, or there's a specific love interest. It could be Aquarius. Hmm. Let's see what other energies come out for Scorpio. So we have the Three of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Three of Cups is about triumph, celebrations, toasting to the most high because of some type of success. There could also, ooh, as I said that I saw 444. There could also be, you know, you're celebrating your your birthday, you're going out, you're having fun. I'm also picking up, be careful 
with someone close to you. It could be friends. I don't see it as a lover. I see it as someone close to you. Like a friend. It could be a friend of me. I'm just saying. And maybe in your mind, you probably pick something up like that. Maybe your vibration is no longer colliding with theirs. And like your intuition has been popping off about them lately. And you're just like, I don't want to believe it. But energy don't lie. Okay, just take heed to that. What messages do we have for Scorpio? The devil. Mm, Capricorn energy. You could also be dealing with the Capricorn or it could have Capricorn in your chart. But the devil energy here is codependency, something that you are attached to. You might be feeling like you're being controlled. See puppet on the string. Maybe you feel like it could be a lover as well. It, it may in this specific card it could be that you feel someone is controlling you or you're feeling like you're being controlled or maybe perhaps there is an addiction or a codependency that's controlling you and it's making it hard for you to overcome that um, energy and it's really getting to you in a way where you don't know how to deal with it but like i said if it's literally fucking with you scorpio and you don't know what to do. Um, you don't know how to take it in a way, but I definitely feel that it's taking over your mind. It might be that you might get a little negative or be feeling a little negative. Hopefully it's not that, but there could be like a negative energy surrounding you that could be trying to control you or try to attach itself to you. Okay, so let me go ahead and change the deck. Um, I'm gonna use the zombie tarot. Messages for Scorpio. I'm also seeing that there could be a, a obviously a celebration. Maybe you're being invited to like a Halloween party or another party besides your own. And maybe someone who's close to you, a lover is not allowing you to go and you're just getting really tired of feeling like you're control being controlled also money could be the issue just for a little bit but then it's going to diminish and you're going to be back on your a game okay so let's see what else comes out the death card <laughs> this try to come out as i was shuffling and i'm like that's crazy i wanted to come out this is uh this is Scorpio energy. So the death card here. There's something that needs to end. I think it's bad habits because I feel like it's also connected to your health. Some of you could be worried about your health. Maybe you want to whip yourself back into shape. Um, maybe you are going through some type of surgery or you or you feel like. You need to have some tests done on yourself. But I feel like you are going through a metamorphosis as well. A dying away of an old way of thinking. Maybe an indoctrination as well. Um, because the devil is above it and the death is underneath it. This dark energy could be due to being in the cocoon period. Just like a caterpillar turns in, goes into the cocoon and turns into a butterfly. It's something like that. And while you are in the dark cocoon, this energy is messing with you. And it's a good time to kick back and, and uh, you know, see your surroundings, who your true friends are, who's really there for you, who's trying to control you, and who really wants the best for you. So let's get some more cards. The Queen of Wands. She came out in your first video. All right. The Queen of Wands could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm picking up strong Leo and Sagittarius energy. Um, this fire sign is... She's kind of like therapy to you. He, she, whatever. No gender. This person could be like therapeutic for you. She, I, it kind of makes me feel like... Let's just say she for an instance. She could be your nurse. She could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. And it's like you turn to her whenever you feel lost, whenever you feel like you're in the dark. And they help you. 
It, and at one point, maybe you felt like maybe she was controlling you. But at the end of the day, it's really because I think this Queen of Wands wants the best for you. It's not a form of controlling. It's a form of keeping your codependencies or your negative thinking under control. So you don't fall under, you, you don't fall fucking down, in other words. So I think this Queen of Wands is leading you on a very healthy path. So because I mentioned something about health wise, and then we see a nurse here. This Queen of Wands could help you. Allow her to help you. Allow him to help you. He or she, okay? So what other things do we have? This could also be rehab. Um, physical therapy I'm seeing as well. For some of you, a new job. Okay, so... Oh, what did I say? I told you money was going to start to look better. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. You see, this is the happily ever after with your family. You're going to have a really good holiday. Um, if you've been looking for a job, like I said, you are going to get that and money is going to be well. Things are going to be balanced. I think your home life is going to be well, well grounded, well balanced and established that you're going to be feeling better. Like I said, that cocoon period is is really hard and you may not understand why it was happening but you will then we have the page of cups here there might be an apology coming in or maybe you feel like you need to apologize to somebody but i do definitely pick up the words apology and forgiveness okay i'm hearing also doing it for the children for for those who have children all right so let me go ahead and pull some clarifiers here from the mini Halloween um, or uh, tarot cards. Messages for Scorpio, please. What is coming in for Scorpio? What can Scorpio expect? Let me take a sip of my coffee. Second cup of the day. All right, so we have the High Priestess. Ooh, interesting. There's a lot of things that you are learning within yourself, okay? You are also becoming super intuitive. I feel like in the month of October, your intuition, your psychic abilities um, is going to very much be enhanced. And it's like you can pick up what people are going to say before they say it. And also, you're going to have like the strong desire and urge to find out like the secrets of the world and ancient history. And you're just going to be so into the esoteric and stuff like that. Um, also, the supernatural. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I am. They're also, I'm hearing you could have a hidden talent or a hidden gift that you were born with. And... I feel like a mother figure or a family member is ready to tell you once you are hitting a specific age, I feel like right now is a good time, especially if you're a teenager, um, they are, there is some type of like, a, I feel like there's been witches in your family, but they're good witches and it's been hidden. It hasn't been talked about for protection. So I think you should speak to your family about that. It doesn't have to necessarily be witches, but it could be something magical like that. There's a hidden gift that's in your DNA, that's in your blood. So we have the Will of Fortune. Look at that, Scorpio. Things are going to be working out in your favor. Finally, things are going to start picking up. It's like all these things are going to come flying towards you, new opportunities, and you're going to be like, oh my God, I don't know which one to accept. I don't know which one to take. It's like it's all coming towards you at one, like all those daggers coming towards you, but in a positive way. Finally, the wheel is going to be turning and uh, you're going to be feeling pretty good towards the middle of October. The energy is going to be feeling nice. As I was mentioning in your first video before it got deleted, um, it's going to feel like there's a sense of opium in the air and you're going to naturally feel high. You're going to naturally feel good. And 
it's kind of like you're going to want to be in that state of mind. And it has a lot to do with you changing your diet, <clears throat> detoxing. Oh my God, they're messing with my throat chakra. Detoxing and, and <clears throat> I told you there's an interference. That devil energy. <clears throat> and um, overall, you're just going to be feeling really good. So, And then we have the king of imps which is the king of wands. So we have the king and queen of wands now. So we have the queen of wands here. Now the king of wands, you could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame. This could be counterparts. All right. Um, maybe you will be feeling like the king of wands or you have fire in your chart, whatever it is, you will be super inspired. You're going to be super inspired. There's going to be some type of creative endeavor that comes your way and you are going to be the first one to raise your hand you are just going to want to jump on it maybe have an idea for business to enhance something but whatever the situation is i think you should go for it don't wait don't lag don't procrastinate just go for it the queen of imps again that's twice already two queen of wands King and queen, I'm telling you, either that <laughs> or you might have two fire signs that you are literally at a crossroads about. Hmm. And it was really weird because now I remember that in your first video, towards the end, it kind of seemed like there was two people. One was hidden, a secret high priestess. And the other one was someone that was close to you. I don't know. Could it be these two women that are sitting on the table with the Scorpio male? And then there is the devil energy next to that. <clears throat> Damn. I don't know. But when you put these two together, they're looking at each other. I do see Leo on this side and I see Sagittarius on the other side. Whew. Let's clarify these spirit. What are these king and queen of wands here for? What is this about? Please clarify these cards for me. Ooh, this one flew out. The page of bats. Ooh, remember how I said you guys are both looking towards each other? So with the with the uh, the page of bats, which is the page of swords, you guys are both checking each other out, whether you know each other or not. It's like you guys are both spying on each other, and you see how they both have their own little devils next to them. Kind of seems like, and those two little bats right here. Could it be those two bats sitting on the table? It's like the passing of information, low key information, spreading of rumors or passing on information through friends. I don't know. I just heard the word. Someone's going to spill the beans. It's like you guys are both watching each other online, some type of spying energy. And then we have the moon. Yeah, the, the, the wolf is crying out to the moon. I feel like your emotions are going to be running wild this month for a specific fire sign. It could be any other sign. Like I said, don't get fixated on the signs. But deep down in Scorpio's subconscious mind and your subconscious mind and heart and soul, you're longing for more from a person. And if you're in separation... You could be feeling their energy very strongly this month. And you are definitely being watched. It's like you guys are both watching each other, like I said. I'm hearing the words, they see themselves in you. And you see yourself in them. Could be a twin, like a, you know. Could be a twin. This could also mean... Okay, don't get this might be a little triggering and alarming for some. For those who haven't seen their person in a while and you've been wondering about them and you're a fire sign cross watcher or any other cross watcher. Um 
you might discover with the high priestess, you might discover a secret by searching, doing your research, being in Carmen San Diego mode and finding out that the Scorpio has a family, has been secretly married or still, you know, attached to an ex or a karmic with children, which is why we have an apology here. And they never told you about it and you find out about it and things just go haywire, which is the Eight of Swords mentally. That could also be a possibility for some of you guys. Then we have the Two of Imps, which is the Two of Wands. It's about planning, something that you will be planning either on planning on moving, traveling. I do see travel plans here for Scorpio going away for a while and you might even meet someone along the way. But at the same time, I strongly feel like there is something hidden that might be coming to light. And this Queen of Wands is going to be pissed. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. P-I-S-S-E-D. Pissed. So, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sorry, I just barely woke up. I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> oh my God. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to channel a little bit of your energy before I pull any more cards. Or actually, I did spell that right. My bad. You see, my head is not right right now. All right, so I'm gonna channel a little bit of your energy. See what comes out. Spirit, what other messages need to come out? Telling me to grab my pendulum. Please point into in the direction that there's major issues or most important. So as it's moving, I'm moving sideways and wherever it stops. See how it stopped right here? Okay. The major energy here would be the death card. Transformation. So definitely going through a huge transformation for some of you. And it could have a lot to do with your beliefs. Your attachments. And it's kind of like you're going to feel like you're a, a fresh new person. Hopefully if it's for the, you know, for the best. But I feel like you're going to want more. You just want to enjoy life. You want to squeeze every juice, every last bit of juice from the lime. What has me worried is a secret family for the, hopefully it's not it. I'm hoping I'm wrong and that's not it. But something has me a little worried about that. So let me pull some extra cards. Tell me more about the Ten of Hazard. Is there a secret family here that Scorpio needs to know about? Or they're a cross watcher? The Five of Pentacles. So because I'm clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, and this is the Five of Pentacles, somebody could have been left behind and abandoned due to another family or due, due to somebody else. Wow. What else do we have here? The King of Cups. This could be you. And you see how he has an octopus head? Octopus has many, you know, arms, legs, whatever the fuck they're called. Testicles. Um, is it testicles? <laughs> I don't know where my mind is today. Oh my God. So this King of Cups is a multitasker. They're a hopeless romantic. 
they could be offering their cup to many other, or reaching out their little hands to many other, you know, people, lovers, children, whatever it is. This is a family man. This is a husband. This is a hopeless romantic. There might be a side of the Scorpio you don't know. Or for the cross watcher of the Scorpio, there might be something you don't know about. And I strongly feel like it's a secret family. Yeah, two of cups. But you feel the strong connection with them because you feel like they're their twin, you're their twin or soulmate. And they might even feel the same for you, but there's somebody else attached. There's something else attached, which shows here in the devil energy with the puppet on the string. And maybe uh, an energy is orchestrating it or has a hold on what Scorpio is thinking and feeling in their actions, if that makes any sense. But I don't know, guys. It, it just feels really weird. Look at the bottom of the deck. Is the moon again? And then in the moon card, there's two men. The roles can very much be reversed where you're a female Scorpio and you're in a crossroads between two men and one of them might have a family or you might have a family. I don't know guys. So I'm going to pull an Oracle card before we wrap it up. So overall energy for the month of October, you're going through a metamorphosis. Things are going to start picking up for you financially. Things are going to go well. There's going to be celebrations. I do feel like you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone. You might be discovering some type of secret or unless someone's going to discover that about you. There's an energy, another person spying on you, but you're also doing that to them. You might be planning travel. Um, there's opportunities in work as well coming in. You might be a little mentally disturbed, but I feel like that's due to in the cocoon season. But other than that, with the Wheel of Fortune being here and it being a major arcana, I think things are, whatever that was stuck is going to be unstuck. So you're going to become unfucked, in other words. <laughs> So the oracle card you have here is the spider, which is community and web weaving. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read that one. Spider, let's see. Okay, so spider's webs can be seen as a symbol of connection, not necessarily entrapment. There is a fine line sometimes between a family or a community supporting us and controlling us. What did I say with the devil energy? Controlling. All right. It says this card looks at the discernment. It also suggests you review the way that you communicate with the wider community at work or generally with others and take steps to improve this or do it slightly differently. It also indicates that there needs to be a balance between what you do for yourself and what you do for others. If we give too much to the outside, our strength diminishes and we cannot weave the supporting web for ourselves. So if you have been there so much for everybody else and you're neglecting yourself, what's going to be left for you? Okay, make sure that you take care of yourself as well. Especially right now that the energies are very intense for you. Okay, you need to take care of your foundation. You need to start putting in the work for yourself. Physically, mentally, and emotionally. Alright, so... Do I need to pull one more? I think that's it. I think that's what I'm feeling. There will be other videos I will be posting for my signs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. It was a little, a little here and there, but that's what came out. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. Give it a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. If you want to book a personal, all that's down below. Remember, your readings are $45 all month long. There's no time frame on them. And um, if you want to purchase any of the decks, I created the link is down below as well.